<laughs> you saw the third installment of the people that crushed America, or I mean built America. Who was it last night? Morty. JP, who bought uh, Andrew. Did they show the scene where they slid him a piece of paper with a 400 and... Yeah. 400 no, and, uh, we haven't come that far. That far. Oh, we haven't come that far. Yeah. And the, uh, now we are in the G, General Electric was far. AC, DC. AC, yeah. DC, yeah. Tesla. Tesla. What? Tesla Edison. And, um, of course, uh, legend has it, Morgan would have paid a lot more than $451 million or whatever the number was. And the, um, but uh, Carnegie accepted the offer. And it's interesting, of the banks that were around then, that still have their same name, at least U.S. banks. J.P. Morgan is, I guess, one of the only ones, because they've all been consolidated. Banking was one of the great first roll-ups, just as in, I think the second one um, was the steel industry and uh, the uh, railroads and uh, and. Uh, Retail. So, uh, what if anything uh, was different about the movie? Yeah. Well, it was interesting because, to yeah, your point is that it, one of the things that um, I think it was Julius <coughs> Morgan said to his son is that the, the players change, but the game's always the same. Ain't that the truth? Yeah, I had forgotten that line. Yeah. In, in the almost 50 years that I've been doing this, a lot of different players. But it's still the same uh, dog eat dog. And again, uh, even dating back to when I started, there were very, very few alpha males. Um, arguably, there's less alpha males now than there was when I started 50 years ago. Um, because they, they've been bred out. Is that the right word? Bred? Yeah, bred out. Um, because it's less uh, popular to be an alpha male than it was almost 50 years when I started. <coughs> when I started, the, the, um, where you saw a lot of alpha guys was in the military. And, uh, and that's been bred out too. Um, what else about uh, Julius? Yes, sir. Um, classic QLA model. Target distressed businesses, buy them, roll them up, fix them up, sell them high. Um, Puff them up like a show dog. <laughs> Yep. Uh, even when he was getting beaten in the uh, electrical wars, he found a way to win by buying them out. He bought out, uh, what, Westinghouse, or he bought them, used litigation as a business tool to scare Westinghouse. <clears throat> they bought everything, changed the name, consolidated, and he ended up owning the same thing. Another uh, teaching point, they find a way. The guys always find a way. Never or no or failure is never an option. They always find a way. And the best of them find more. And uh, the, um, yeah, they, they, they always find a way. I didn't really thought about that until I just mentioned it, but there's, there's less alpha males now than there was when I started. Maybe that's why they say that I'm such the last of the Neanderthals. Because I wasn't that much of an anomaly, uh, maybe 40 years ago, but now I, I certainly am. Anything else about... Uh, uh, J.P. Morgan, he evolved after his father's death, actually. He, he was always creative, but he was always under his father's shadow. And in, in, in a sense, he was quite a weenie. Uh, and uh, then, as luck would have it, right at the most important point in his career, his father died which gave him access to all the funds, because if his father was alive, his father would have take, pulled him out of, yanked him out of the electricity room, because Edison was screwing up big time, uh, when, you know, the, the electric chair goes against them, and uh, the, they use the DC to, <coughs> AC to burn that guy in the electric chair. Another teaching point, screwing up big time, but they keep rolling. Yeah. <coughs> they just keep rolling, because the only time you can move forward, like in the turtle shell analogy, is when you stick your neck out and you stick your, your legs out. I mean, um, they really invented the terminology, fail fast, fail forward. Um, and, and now it's, you know, it, it, it's quite different. And uh, of course they didn't have the, they still had something, they didn't call it personal development back that, in those days. 
but they didn't have all the gurus running around like we've got now, none of which have got a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. The, um, but as an aside, um, uh, the uh, Napoleon Hill died broke. Napoleon Hill went bankrupt, I believe, twice. Napoleon Hill, um, the, um, well, on, on a personal note, I mean, he left his son when his son was born with no ears. He abandoned his son. And, um, Contrary to what they say in the book. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And um, what else? Yes, Doc. Organization, this concept they've kind of created the term organization and coming in. Oh, organization, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that's slashing costs and slashing throats. Pure QLA one, the yeah. organization thing was. Now, I like, I like you hearing you say all this. I don't need the validation, but because I know it's true, but the, uh, and that's why 25 years ago and 20 years ago, I thought I had five years before. You know, all the guys are going to be copying me. Here we are 25 and a half years later, and they're still not copying. The, uh, because the validity of what you've heard here uh, and what differentiates the hardcore from the regular seminar is, other than working with big numbers in a lot of these cases, is you see whether it's a 500,000 deal or a $5 billion deal, it's the same problems. And when you get that mindset, and you understand that it's just a matter of some zeros. And that, as we said yesterday, as we closed up, they would rather have a bunch of zeros at the end of the deal because it's the same paperwork and it's more fees. I mean, it becomes, it never becomes easy, but it sure as hell becomes a, a heck of a lot easier. Anything else about? Um, his father was playing not to lose while he was playing to win. And when his father wasn't in the way, he, what? tripled the wealth or something, just dwarfed whatever his father built. Yeah. Most of the, the wealth here in, in Britain was built on slavery, which everybody tries to forget, and then in lumber. Um, but the family's wealth as a percentage of uh, GDP for Britain was bigger then than it is now because they have not expanded other than by some organic growth. There hasn't, there's only been, you know, 20 or 30 or 40 shakers and movers that have taken that wealth that was built back uh, in the Industrial Revolution and, uh, and, and expanded it. And that's why, to a great extent, the Brits admire the Americans for the uh, never-say-die attitude because they were the colonies, you know, and 200-plus uh, years ago that broke away, and now they're significantly bigger uh, than Britain. Now... Britain ruled two-thirds of the world from this little island with something called gunboat diplomacy. Gunboat diplomacy. You got it, I want it, I take it. That's it. That was their model. <laughs> you got it, I want it, I take it. And a number of the European countries, um, France did the same thing, Portugal did the same thing, uh, Spain... Pardon? Holland. Holland. Yeah, Holland did the same thing. You got it. I want it. I take it. And now we've, we've gone all the way to the other end of the continuum. Oh, you got it. You can keep it. I'll help you keep it. And here's some of mine. Yeah, exactly. And, <laughs> yeah, exactly, Doc. And here's some of mine. And um, the, uh, but watching those old, uh, not they're old, they're not old, old, but I mean, watching what happened 100, 150 years ago and how they use the QLA model. Um, I, I personally like the British model. You got it, I want it, I take it. I, 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 100 years before that, you know, with, with the gunboats. And be, Britain, because they ruled the seas at the time, we were able to do it. And uh, instead of tariffs like Trump's doing, they did, <coughs> excuse me, they did blockades. So you couldn't get anything in. <coughs> and they ultimately starved you to death. And, and Correct. piracy. Correct. Take the stuff at sea. Yeah. It was a license. It was the good old days. I keep saying the good old days. I was born too late. <clears throat> Anything else? Well, the yeah. QLA model, it didn't really matter who won. So Morgan, so Morgan he was going to buy whichever one won. The, the, <clears throat> and it was very much survival of the fittest. And now, 
It's not survival of the weakest, but it's certainly not survival of the fittest. Now we have subsidies and, you know, and we have all these things to uh, equal the playing field. Um, the, um, and, and, I, and I'm recommending for some of you, or not for some of you, but uh, where it's applicable to take advantage of those uh, additional subsidies. And also, uh, Rockefeller, when um, the competition was getting high on him, decided that um, uh, gasoline, which was uh, a byproduct at the time, that they were just throwing down the river. Yeah. It should be used for, for compressed engine um, fuel. And again, the first car, well, I, I don't think it showed in this film you saw, but I mentioned it before. The first cars on the planet were electric cars. And then 10, 8, 10, 12 years later, petroleum, you know, combustible uh, engines were invented. And so if we wanted electric cars, I mean, we could have, we, we could have been developing, instead of the last 15 years because Elon Musk uh, put, stuck his foot up the ass of the automobile industry, we could have developed some really, you know, tremendous automobiles um, based on electricity. Um, but again, it's survival of the fittest. Now, they don't say sensitivity equals poverty, but you could see, you could see on the bottom, if it was there, sensitivity equals poverty vis-a-vis -vis all these magnets, uh, these guys. Um, it, it just makes sense. There, there's no sensitivity sensitivity in any shape, manner, or form of any of these guys. Now, what they don't say, but you can, you, you can conjecture yourself, do they give a shit about anybody but themselves? No. And I'm going to just say this generically. And you, you care. Do they care what anybody said about them? No. If a newspaper said something bad, they bought the fucking newspaper. Sacked everybody. That's not in that film, but that's what happened. Did they care what anybody thought about them? No. And you can just go item by item from then till now. And if you even go back further to Attila the Hun and Genghis Khan, those guys, they thought even less. And here we have, yeah. Actually, as it was ending, uh, there was this uh, pundit, some kind of presidential uh, uh, hopeful who was saying a lot of bad things about them, and right at the end, they were actually in a room together, getting ready to say, we're gonna buy the president, so. Well, in those days, if you didn't have those guys behind you, you didn't become president. Now, a lot of people would argue it's not much different now. Um, and capitalism, you know, uh, works. And, and, and this one man's opinion, QLA is the epitome of capitalism. It's you, and, and to me, capitalism is OPM. Other people's money and other people. The two biggest levers you're going to have in life. Other people and other people's money. And, um, the, um, and all the big hedge fund guys, Carl Icahn, uh, you know, Peltz, etc., Elliot, they're using hedge fund money of money they raise from other people. And then they take a profit off the top using their money. It's not their, it's not their personal money. It's they, they are using somebody else's money, all these hedge funds. Now, some of the funds do have partners' money. But the old days of merchant banks, merchant banks meaning they put their, risk, their money at risk, is it, gone. It's gone. And it's been gone you know, for a couple of generations. But it, it's really it's really good to watch. Now, uh, when I was looking at the comments uh, from the YouTube, uh, the uh, either the YouTube people don't realize that the market collapsed uh, because they're so poor. Nobody's got any money in them. I mean, not one comment. I was on with Winnika, and Winnika said, "Nobody knows." So that shows you the economic strata. Uh, if they don't know, because the people that got hurt the most, um, or the people that had the most money in the market, and the people that had the most money in the market are the people that have the most money. And um, anything else about the movie? Now, we didn't do this before. I just want you to say, 
My name is Jeremy. Uh, I'm from uh, Pismo Beach, California, uh, and I'm 38 years old. And just uh, just go around because I got some questions, which I normally do the first day. Just if you do that for me, please. Yeah, Jeremy, California, 32. And I'm from South Africa, Johannesburg. John Robinson, Scottsdale, Arizona, USA, 46. David Dutton, Singapore, 55. Jesus Christ. They want 55. Okay. Paul Marcus, Austria, 35. I'm Sebastian from Copenhagen. I'm 30. James, Pennsylvania, 26. Peter from Toronto, Canada, 24. Jake, United States, 42. Ross, 30 from Johannesburg. Nicholas from London, 30. Alec, USA, 34. <coughs> Runner, 29, Ireland. Arrived, London, 17. Dasher, 37, Utah. Crystal, London, 23. Tom, Washington, D.C., 38. So we're from 37 to 54. Oh, no, excuse me, 17 to 54, right? That's 30, 40 years. No, 37. 37 years. Fuck. <coughs> And we got just about everybody in between. And it works. And it works. Now, there's a couple of big cases. John's going to do one, not on YouTube, um, that he's been working on quite a long time. Uh, the disclosure, I'm his chairman. We've been working on it quite a long time. Uh, and um, there's a couple of other cases, but primarily from lunchtime on, we are going to be doing, um, uh, EJ is going to bring up all the, um, those um, webinars that you asked me about. And, and he reminded me again, for the, when the um, mentor program is completed, assuming people don't get thrown out, they have full access to all the webinars, even the ones that apparently you can't find. Okay? So first thing is he's going to show you how to find them. Okay? Then we're going to go through the ones that you are especially interested in, and we'll go through them. Okay. Um, but I always thought that all these guys were real computer savvy, EJ, but maybe they're not much more computer savvy than I am. Um, and then we will go through Q&A, specific things, either, not either, in addition to things that will directly relate to the deals that you're working on right now, and, and, and to make sure that by the time uh, tomorrow evening comes around, there's no questions that didn't get answered. Okay? Okay. Uh, YouTube, that's it for now.